Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the third video of this series. I'm going to introduce you with three more concepts about accessibility. And I have an article for this video as well. I'm going to give the link for this, uh, for the article in this video description. So let's get started. This is the article I was referring to for this video. So I'm going to give the link for this YouTube video. That way it's easier for you to follow along. And uh, this is the online accessibility editor. You should be already familiar if you have already followed the previous videos. And I'm going to give you three examples, three concepts. You know, one is how to access the attributes, right? How to get the attributes value in the attributes to the output, and how can we use in the condition, in the conditions of uh, you know uh, accessibility, right? And the third one is workday generated X XML how we can use accessibility you know to uh, extract the attributes or whatever so let's get started the first one is accessing the attributes so let's see input and output and then we'll jump into the accessibility part here this is the attributes if you are not familiar with the concept concept of attributes go through my first video uh, where i have introduced you the all the xml types and all Right, so this is the element, and within the element, I have one attribute. We can have multiple attributes as well, but in this case, I have just taken one. Right, so this is a spouse, dependent type is spouse, and dependent type is child. And there is one more element we have with the attribute that is name. Name type is full name here. So I want to get that in the output here, full name. Here, spouse and child. How can I do that? That is a. Uh, that's what we are going to address here. So all we are uh, trying to do is put at the rate and give the type. Type is the attribute name. Attribute name. In this case, I have given type, so that's why I'm giving. I'm using type. But we can have different names. Let's just see, right? So I'm going to copy this into this XML part. And I'm going to copy the XSLT into the XSLT part. Okay. And transform XML. See here, we can see the full name and spouse and child. So don't think that attributes always has to have type. It can be anything like, uh, let's just say name type. Right. Because we have changed it one place. We have to change in all the places, right? Because this is the attribute a definition. Whereas the value in that could be different. Let's just say uh, this is a legal name and we are putting a full name here and this is preferred name. Let's just say, right? And now, because we have changed the name type, we have to change the accessibility as well. Here I'm going to use name type, right? Transform XML. Look here. First is legal name, second is full name, and third one is preferred name. <clears throat> right? So that's it. So uh, I hope you understand uh, the similar way it is the same with dependent type as well. Dependent type, one is child and one is pops. So that's about the first example. The second example is how can we use that on the condition? So let's just say, based on a dependent type, I want to limit. I want to limit only the rows, only the dependents who are spouses. I don't care about the uh, children. Let's just say there is a benefit plan, which is uh, supplemental spouse, uh, life insurance let's just say in that case because that is spouse insurance we don't care about the children right so how can we use that is whenever we are trying to use uh, condition right we are we are going to put in the square bracket right and then of course whenever we want to uh, access the uh, attributes you have to put add the rate. Okay, 
So let's copy this this data into the XML part and copy the XML here. Okay, and transform XML. So see, we can we are we are able to see only the spouses. Though there is child information, we are ignoring it. Why? Because we have given the condition only spouses. That's why only spouses are coming. Let's just say let's change it to child and rerun. We are getting only child information. Let's just say we are programming for um, child life insurance. Right? In that case, we really care only about the children. We don't care about the spouse. So that's a use case. And let's jump to the third example. You know, workday generated XML. <clears throat> so in this, we don't have any. Um, uh attributes or something it just that it's a workday generated xml this is a simple xml right then let's see uh, how to how to write accessibility for this well, first of all what is the difference between workday xml and other xml right i'll tell you and then i'll show you the example so if you observe, there is WD. I've already explained in the first video, but I'm going to just uh, really, real quick, I'm going to touch that. So there is a namespace here. Namespace definition is given here. When uh, XML, NS, NS stands for namespace. And this is the na name of the namespace, WD in this case, right? So Workday uh, always uses WD or uh, you know similar things. We can have anything. Uh, if it is a true XML, we can have your own name. You can just replace this with your own name, right? I'll show you that as well, real quick. But let's let's see first how uh, you know what is the data in this. So we have two employee information. One is Logan McNeil, and the other one is John Davis. And Logan McNeil has two dependents. One is a uh, child, another is spouse. Whereas the John Davis doesn't have any, uh, you know, dependent information. Okay, so how to get that information out? So in this in this example, we are just extracting only employee information, right? So let's see. Let's run this as it is. See, we are getting Logan McNeil and John Davis information. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, I told you that I'm, uh, I'll give you an example of replacing the accessibility. I'll show you that in a minute. So to replace the WD, I'm going to use Notepad++. So I'm going to paste it here. And the language I've selected as XML. That's why this XML color coding is coming. So uh, let's just replace all the WDs with uh, um, ABC, doesn't matter, anything, right? And I'm going to replace all. Okay. Because I have replaced, uh, I have made changes to the XML, of course, I have to make changes to the accessibility as well. Wherever there is WD, I have to replace with ABC. Okay, this dream change. Yeah. And if you run, Is not bound, so there is some error here. Because this is not updated. ABC. Now let's transform. See, 
the same output is coming. So all I wanted to tell you is namespace doesn't matter. To some extent, it doesn't matter. All the, this is just a name. This is actual namespace. Even this is also to some extent doesn't matter. You have to try to read the XML, ignoring this namespace and all these things. So just try to read this, try to read the worker, uh, employee ID and all. So that's how uh, you have to read and that's how you have to uh, interpret, right? That's it for today. Let's meet ag again in another video. Bye.